So we had Tokyo Game Show, which seemed to take place for like 10 days. And we finally, finally, got 15 minutes of gameplay for Metal Gear Survive. Featuring Grasping Man. And people are, are mixed on this gameplay. I think a, people, a lot of people were more positive on it than the initial uh, Konami reaction of it. I, I still stand by what I said originally, which was if Kojima had come on stage and talked about this game and nothing was changed about this game, it was this exact thing, people would have liked it. So I, I think it's a little weird to be like, fuck this, this is stupid, when you don't even know what the game is, whatever, blah blah blah. Now we do. Now we do see gameplay. And here's what we have. There's a, there's a couple things to talk about here. Uh, namely, I watched, I didn't watch it all, I and mean, it's 15 minutes. And I didn't even, I didn't even want to watch a 15 minute trailer for Metal Gear Solid anymore, unless it's the game, right? Unless it's in the game and I'm playing it, I don't want to see that spoiler video you made, Kojima, I don't. So I, I skimmed it. But there's a couple things that are interesting to me. First of all, this guy gets attacked on his leg, on his leg, and then he has to go heal his leg because he's limping. So it seems to be limb damage of some sort. There was an audio track again. I'm not professional. I'm not, I'm not reading or listening to everything. I don't know. He got attacked on his limb leg. I don't know. But that could be exciting. It's survive. It's not Metal Gear. I'm crazy, man. You gotta survive. So the idea that you could have team members that are injured and you could rescue them, but you can still fight, you're just limping around. I'm with that. I'm with that. There's also the base building kind of idea of it, putting up a fence, which I have over here. Fence. And the zombies are attacking, and then they, they overcome the fence. Like, that's interesting. Okay. The combat in Metal Gear Solid 5 was pretty good. I, I mean, I played it primarily as a stealth game, but it was there. If you needed it, you could go into crazy action time, and it wasn't terrible. It was actually pretty good. So I'm fine with having more action and, and having this be a more combat focused thing. There are uh, accusations, I guess I guess you could say, that they're reusing a lot of assets from Metal Gear Solid 5. And some people have said they're stealing assets from Metal Gear Solid 5. But newsflash, it's theirs. Like they own this. Uh, stealth is not the worst, Joel, and I'll get and I'll, I'll yell at you later for that. Uh, like, Konami owns Metal Gear Solid 5 and the engine and all that shit. So they're not stealing anything for this game. They're just reusing their stuff. They spent five years on that, all that tech. Of course they're going to reuse it again. Plus, the gameplay was was so solid about Metal Gear Solid 5. Why would you remove that? Why would you, oh, let's, let's start over. Oh, they're reusing Afghanistan. Who cares? They're making, like... This, there's a turnaround time for this game is like a year, a year and a half, right? They're not going to make an entire fucking world again. They're doing the smart thing, business-wise, and reusing a lot of assets. Now, should it be an action game? Maybe, maybe not. Should it be a zombie game? Probably not, and that's what Kojima said. Put Grasping Man back. That's what Kojima said in basically response to this, that he had nothing to do with it, and that to him, Metal Gear is about espionage and stealth and all of that. And I and I agree. That's fine. That is 100 percent fine. But there there exists a world where you can like this game and like the Kojima Metal Gear games. There it exists a world where you can love all the Metal Gear Solid games and all of that and hate Metal Gear Survive. That's fine. You can still hate Konami and buy this game. But here's what you shouldn't do. If you don't like Konami, if you don't like Metal Gear Survive, don't talk about it. Don't give them the view. Don't give them the like, the dislike, the anything, the Twitter follower. Don't give them anything. If you don't like this, it doesn't exist to you and ignore it completely because that's the only way they're going to get the message konami and anyone is not going to get the message if you keep watching their videos and engaging with content and buying the game that is how you send a message ignore everything about it 
if you hate it so much. So I don't, I don't I like all those people. Oh, it's the worst. It's the worst. The worst. Ignore it. Ignore it. This is a business. They're trying to get people's eyes on this. The more you talk about it, the more eyes on it. Now I, I think the game could be fine, but if it's multiplayer only, I don't care. That remains to be seen. Also, I'm not digging up information about it because I, I don't care that much. But if you hate it, ignore it. Get rid of it. Don't talk about it. Shush. It never happened. It never happened. Just like the Star Wars prequels to some people who refuse to acknowledge their existence despite not being as horrible as you might remember them being. Where'd the fence picture go? Can we put the fence picture back up? I like how the standout feature of this gameplay demo was a fence. Just a fence. Look what we can do. We put a fence here. Let's check on Bravo Leader. Oh, he's over there. He's crafting something. Let's check back with Alpha. Oh, standing by a fence still. He's got a shotgun by a fence. The de the gameplay demo was a little weird. It was a, it was a little weird. A lot of weird, probably. Now we move on to our regularly scheduled Pokemon update because it seems as though the PR strategy for Pokemon Sun and Moon was to release new info every week until the game comes out. I don't know, but it's it's a little ridiculous. I think it's, this is maybe week eight in a row of, of new Pokemon. So let's go into it. Now we have a bunch of new things for the differences between Sun and Moon and which one you're going to be buying or not buying. Here's the first one. This is Passimian, a football monkey, who now I realize looks like he's farting on me. So thanks, monkey. That's nice. Uh, I don't know. He's got the stripes of a skunk, kind of, or a, a weird polar bear monkey. I don't like it. I don't like monkeys that much. And the other monkey, this is in Pokemon Moon, this monkey, Oranguru, Oranguru, I don't care. It sounds like you're you're trying to say something, but you're eating a bunch of caramel. Oranguru. That's a Pokemon now. It, this looks fine. It looks like a weird uh, Jungle Book fan art, concept art or something. Uh, that, that's great. It's a monkey. Neither of these creatures, which I will now overlay on top of each other, interest me at all. I will never use either of these monkeys. I don't care. They're stupid. Monkeys are dumb. Mama, I, I don't get it. I don't get the fascination of monkeys. Maybe the little lemur monkeys are kind of, I think they're kind of cute, I guess, but we have dogs. We have cats. We even have horses and all these other animals. Monkeys? Come on. Get over the monkeys. Speaking of weird dogs, they gave us more crap. So we have, what is it, who was it called? Rock Ruff, which is this little scruffy dog thing I don't I didn't get a picture of. But in Pokemon Sun, it evolves into Lycanroc, the midday form, which looks a little bit like Wolf Link. But in hindsight, Wolf Link looks like a wolf, so I don't, I don't really, there's no point there. That's great. It is, this is fine. It's, it's a dog thing, sure. Now, in Pokemon Moon, Lycanroc evolves into, or Lycanroc is like this. This is the midnight form, Werewolf Man. And to me, I was thinking about this earlier, it looks like a shitty uh, Lucario. Like Lucario, I'm not even a big Lucario fan at all. Lucario is fine. I like playing with him in Smash, that's great. This is not. This is, this is lame cosplay Lucario as a, as a werewolf, and I don't like it. So, in conclusion, let's just overlay all the pictures on top of each other. All these dumb Pokemon that are now just in a jumble on my screen are stupid, and I don't like them. But, the wolves are better than the monkeys. And, and you know, I don't care. And who cares about this? Here's what I care about, and I don't even care. I don't care about Pokemon, despite how much I talk about it. We have, right here, the best part about all this, some cool EV fan fiction going on. So, EV gets this Z move, that's a special thing that they've added into this game. I believe it's new, it should have been in Pokemon X and Y, because then you have the Z moves, right? Maybe it was, it's been like five years, I don't remember. 
So we have I'm finally playing Omega Ruby. Yeah, I, I never did. So this is its move. It gives it buffs and whatever. This is Eevee's Z move that shows a big old cool thing of all the evolutions. And I love it. I love the evolutions or whatever, the EV evolutions, Digivolutions, Digimon are the champions. People get really pissed off when I mention Digimon in the middle of Pokemon. People get, people get super pissed. I love it. I love Digimon. Uh, I wish I wish there was Digimon news every week, so I have to talk about Digimon. This is this is great. But does this mean there's no new EV evolution? Because it is all the other ones we already have. Now I was thinking about this and I was like, oh that makes sense. The last new one we got was the fairy one whose name I Silveramo do? I don't remember the name of. So and that was when we got a new type, the fairy type. We got a new fairy evolution. Fine. But we still don't have an EV for every type. Where's the metal EV? Where's the flying EV? Where's the ghost EV? Take a second to respect this. Where is the ghost EV? I want ghost EV. Are you see I didn't even somehow this this missed my brain entirely. There are a bunch of different types that's missing. What if we just got a normal type EV? I want more EVs. EVs are so stupid. It's so dumb. It's so dumb that this weird this weird evolution thing can happen, but I love it. That's what's so cool about it. It's like it's a Pokemon that can turn into its own Power Rangers force. Go look at it. That's all of them lined up like the Power Rangers, but it's from one Pokemon. I'm down with you, Eevee. I'm not down with you, dumbass Midnight Wolf. Get the fuck out of here. Midnight Wolf. And with that, very insightful commentary. We'll go to the topics of the week. Midnight Wolf. On the prowl. I clicked on something and then it didn't work. So it was like, I'm really good at this. Really. Totes per fresh. Per fresh? No. Nope.